Indianapolis Mayor Greg Ballard is doing more to sell his crime-fighting plan, especially the pre-K program. He bought radio ads and is doing more town hall meetings, but Democrats are still not coming around and time is running out. Our City Beat reporter Mary Mills is at the City County Building where a vote is scheduled tonight. Mary? Well, that vote involves funding for the mayor's pre-K program, and I'm told that vote is now being postponed a week. The problem is if the council doesn't sign off by September 27th, or 22nd, that is, the program is essentially dead, so there is an urgency for the mayor, but not so much for councilors, Democrats. So this is called the drum. These four-year-olds are part of a pre-K program at Day Nursery. There's play involved, but the focus is learning. 18. It's what the mayor wants to make available to low-income preschoolers across the city as a way to prevent crime. He talked about it on Eyewitness News at noon. Just putting more officers on the street is not going to solve anything. It's going gonna, it's gonna to help, no question. It'll help in the current times, but we have to look at this holistically and over a longer period of time. And pick them up. And the sisters Stephanie Johnson and Lois Foster don't need much convincing. If kids are busy learning, they don't have time to be busy doing other things. And they do worry about crime, even in Foster's quiet neighborhood. You don't know whether you want to be heard or attacked or just what's going to happen when you go out. The mayor wants to help pay for the initiative by eliminating the homestead tax credit. Doing that would raise $25 million over the next five years, but it would also cost homeowners. The mayor says a couple bucks a month, while Democrats say for some it would cost significantly more. I believe in pre-K. I also believe we need to be respectful of the taxpayers, and we can do it within the budget we have. John Barth says he plans to introduce a different way to pay for pre-K in the coming weeks, one that doesn't raise taxes. If pre-K is a priority that we all agree on, then we need to also talk about rebalancing the entire budget. So that's part of this ongoing discussion. Johnson and Foster, who both taught their kids how to read by the age of three, say cost is a concern, but so is the city's future. If it's going to add to somebody's life, I can make that sacrifice. You have to sometimes uh, pay a, a something to get something, so why not? And while Barth is in favor of a pre-K program, not all Democrats are. Angie Mansfield told me she says she thinks it's the state's responsibility to pay for education, not the city. The city has so many other things to take care of. So, John, it looks like pre-K does face an uphill battle. All right, thank you. Mary Mills reporting from downtown tonight. Now, the City County Council has already approved an income tax increase to pay for more officers. The increase to the public safety tax rate will cost the average household about $5 more per month. It will allow the department to add 150 more officers, but that is still 100 short of what the department says it needs.